What's up YouTube? This is Bullseye Eight Two Three One, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the oil in a 2019 Toyota Highlander. This uh, procedure will be the same for Highlanders from 2014 all the way through 2019. So I'm going to go step by step. I'm going to show you all the tools you need. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. Uh, so you're going to need new oil. So I've got a six quarts here. I believe the uh, manufacturer calls for 5.8 quarts. So we're gonna put the five quarts in and then maybe top it off a little bit with that last quart. You're gonna need a new filter. Went ahead and got an OEM Toyota filter. They're not any more expensive than all the other filters like at your local auto parts store. Um, but this one does have a lot of different things. So I wanted to make sure I got the actual OEM filter. This is a plug. I'll get into all these different parts once we're changing everything, but this is a plug that drains the canister. You've got your new O-rings and your new filter. And then in the bottom down there, you can see that is the uh, compression nut for uh, a compression washer for the uh, oil plug itself. They give you one of those when you buy these at Toyota. So um, you're gonna need a special oil filter wrench. So this is a 64 millimeter uh, filter wrench, the inside here. You can buy one with these extra little slots on the outside that just goes up on the canister and helps grip it so nothing gets stripped out. It is plastic, so well, this is metal, but the canister itself is plastic. So I'd be sure to uh, be careful with that. And this is just an extra layer of making sure that plastic piece doesn't get tore up as bad every time you change the oil. The actual oil plug, it's gonna be a 14 millimeter. You're gonna need an extension to take off the plug on the bottom of the canister. You're gonna need a ratchet. So this is a three inch drive ratchet. And I also have a half inch drive ratchet here as well, just because my oil filter wrench is a 21 millimeter. So you wouldn't need a half inch, but I didn't have a half inch socket uh, or a three eighth socket that was 21 millimeter. So I had to go ahead and go up to my half inch stuff so anyway um you're also going to need a drain pan and that's everything you're going to need so i'm going to show you step by step what to do in order to successfully change oil let's dive right in all right so the first thing you're going to want to do is open the hood if you don't know how to open the hood it's up underneath the driver's side of the vehicle up under the dash um so once you open the hood pull the lever um, you pull this lever up while lifting the hood. I can't do that with one hand. Uh, and then, of course, they have this rod that holds the hood up while you're working. All right, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is unscrew this cap. The oil for this vehicle is 0W20, as you can see. So that's 0W20. And I'm going to take this off, but then I'm going to leave it on there just so that it doesn't no trash or anything falls in there while I'm working on the vehicle. All right, then I'm going to take my 14 millimeter and I'm my oil pan and I'm going to go up underneath the passenger side of the vehicle. All right, now, let's see. I did not jack the vehicle up. Um, if you want to jack it up, you're welcome to. I'm pretty sure I can do this without. The Highlander has a pretty good amount of clearance. So if you look up under here, that's the oil pan right there. And the oil plug is right at the rear of that. You can see that is the 14 millimeter. And if we back up this way, that right there is the oil filter canister. All right, so those are the two areas where we'll be working. So I'm just gonna reach my ratchet in there. I'm gonna aim the oil pan up on the oil plug. All right, so once the oil plug is out, we're gonna go ahead and let the oil drain completely. Also, you might wanna add a pair of gloves and a rag to your list of items needed. As you can see, that compression washer is on the oil plug. So we're gonna take that off and change it. I'll show you how to do that, but just make sure sometimes they get stuck on the actual oil pan reservoir. Uh, so just make sure that that comes off before you put the new new one on because then you'll have a leak because the two compression washers uh, will leak 
in between them if there's two on there. So just be sure to remove that. So we're gonna let the oil drain and then I'll show you what to do. All right, so while the oil's draining, I'm gonna go over here and take my oil plug. And as you can see, this compression washer just comes right off. Um, so that's the old one. And I'm gonna take the new one and just push it right on like that. And that is how you change that washer. Um, and so as soon as the oil's done draining, we're gonna go ahead and put this plug back in. All right, so here's the backside view of the oil plug, uh, just so that you can see for reference point. I wanted to make sure you could uh, get a good visual on what it looks like. All right, so we got the oil plug back in and now we're gonna transition to the oil filter. All right, so what you're gonna need is this little plastic piece out of your filter box and you're gonna need your extension. Now I have a six inch extension on here. You could probably do it with the four inch, couldn't find mine at the moment. But uh, so now we're gonna transition to the filter. The filter's a little bit closer to the top. So that's right here. I really had to reach in there to get the oil plug out and in, but it's possible to do without jacking it up. It would be a little easier if you have a set of ramps. It won't hurt nothing to put it up. Just make sure you chalk the wheels and make sure that if you put jack stands on it, if you jack it up for safety reasons. But so now I'm gonna move my oil pan slightly closer. So it will be up under the filter area. And then I'm gonna take my ratchet. And do it and i'm gonna put it right in the slot all right i'm gonna need the uh shorter extension all right so i got the smaller extension now since um not jacked the car view since i have not jacked the vehicle up off the ground i'm gonna have to do it with the short extension so y'all can see uh but you just put it in there again this is a 3 h drive and you're just gonna loosen it like that and now that it's loose, I'm going to reach in there with my hands and I'm going to unscrew it the rest of the way. Now, there's going to be a little bit of oil that drops with this one, but it's not going to be a ton. It's just going to be what's ever in the actual little reservoir there. Just drop there. And now I'm going to take my plastic piece like this and... It goes up in here and you might have to put a little pressure on it uh, but you, the uh, this side goes up and then the tube part goes down that's what's gonna drain the oil so you're just gonna take it and you're gonna push it <laughs> so you really have to push but as you can see now it is draining the canister so once that canister is drained I'll be ready to pull that out. So we'll wait just a minute and then I'll show you what to do next. All right, so now that the uh, oil filter canister is done draining, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this little plastic piece out. Let's see if I can film this and do it. All right, and as you can see, the little black O-ring comes off with this plastic piece. So we've got to be sure to change that O-ring with the new one that they gave us. So I'll be sure to show you how to do that. Uh, but now we're going to move the oil pan out of the way and get ready with our filter canister wrench. All right, so now we have the uh, plug pulled out. The canister has been drained. Now I'm going to take my oil filter canister wrench and I'm going to set it up on there. It should stay. And then I'm going to take my night, uh, 20, I think it was a 21 millimeter, um, that goes on right here, or you could just use a half inch ratchet, but I'm going to go ahead and use the 21 millimeter. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and take off the canister. All right, so we got the canister up there. Go ahead and get the 21 millimeter on there. And then I'm gonna twist like so. As you can see, and we're just gonna slowly 
begin to release the canister. And once it gets to a point where it feels like you can turn it with your hand, feel free to go ahead and use your hand to get it the rest of the way off so it doesn't fall on the ground and whatnot. All right, so once you get the canister off, this is what it looks like. Um, you may have a little bit of oil spill out of it, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it over. You can see some of it's dripping out. So we'll go ahead and get all that dripped out of there. And then we're just going to dispose of the old filter. You basically just pull it out. So I'll show you how to do that in a second. All right, so as you can see, I got the old filter. Uh, the way that this comes out is just pull it out, but I'm going to leave it in there for a minute. And I'm going to turn this upside down, and I'm going to get my gaskets. And I'm going to go ahead, well, I got it easy where I can work, put my gasket there. And put this plug back in. So, now, you got to remember to make sure you tighten that again once you get it on the vehicle. But, while everything's out, easy to work on. I'm going to make sure everything gets cleaned up real good. This is the filter, so we got to make sure all this is clean. So now, to get the filter out, you just pull it out like this. Then you dispose of it. Just put it right here on the rag for now. Again, we're going to clean everything up. Make sure everything's nice and clean. This is the filter area, so you don't want to have a lot of buildup and grime inside of here. So make sure we get everything real clean. The other thing I'm going to do is change this O-ring here. As you can see, just slides right off. So I'm going to take the new O-ring and slide it back on. Be sure not to tear these O-rings. Just be real careful with them. You don't want to mess them up. And then you'll start having a leak on your vehicle. Um, then you take your new filter. Same thing. This is the same exact way, front or back. So you just slide it on like so, snaps in, and you're ready to reinstall this on the vehicle. All right, so once we get the filter all put back together, I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall it. I went ahead and put my filter wrench back on it so that I can get it on here good, and snug, hand tight. And then I'm going to take my 21 millimeter and I'm going to snug it up the rest of the way. Make sure that you snug this all the way up. It is plastic, so you want to be careful with it. Um, make sure you don't cross thread it or anything. Uh, but you want to make sure that you get it snugged up completely all the way to where the O-rings are seating on the shaft or the cylinder there so we'll go ahead and all right feels like we're we're there okay and it came right off all right now because we put that other piece on i'm gonna go ahead and snug it up as well this is back to your 3 8 drive just want to put that in there and Make sure it's tight. That feels good. All right, and your oil filter has now been successfully changed. I'll show you what to do next. All right, so now we're ready to put the oil back into the vehicle. I'm using the Pennzoil Platinum Full Synthetic Complete Protection and Performance. Uh, this oil for this vehicle is 0W20. It's 0W20. You could get Mobile One. You could get Valve Align. I just personally like Pens Oil a lot. Um, then you got 0W20 there on the oil cap as well. So I'm going to go ahead and dump this in and see if 5 quarts tops it off. And upon draining the oil pan, it was right about 6 quarts of oil. So we're just going to go ahead and put 6 quarts in and make sure we're monitoring it each little bit we put in all right so i went ahead and put six quarts of oil in the vehicle uh, after checking upon the dipstick uh, it still is a little shy of the uh, top dot mark so i went ahead and put a full six quarts in it uh, 0.8 it does call for 5.8 quarts 0.8 is that much and so it's not a lot of oil uh, more um 
but you know, it's about four ounces more. But according to the dipstick, it needed it. So uh, I know when you change the filter and the oil, you know, you, you're taking more oil out of the vehicle. So it takes a little bit more to put in. Like I said, I checked, I put a little bit checked, put a little bit checked, wanted to make sure I didn't overfill it. I wanted to make sure I filled it up enough so uh, six quarts is right on the dot, the top dot on the dipstick. So we should be good with that. All right, so that's how you change the oil on a 2019 Toyota Highlander XLE. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. If you uh, want below, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time.